Hey guys, so I'm finally here with a tutorial for the mini brag book um, album that I had just showed a couple days ago on my YouTube channel, and I'm going to put a link to it down below uh, in the comment section for you to take a sneak peek at it. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me anymore to show you guys because it's already in the mail on the way to my mother-in-law who lives in Canada, um, but I did want to show you the basics on how to put it together. I'm not sure if I'll go through all of the embellishing of the pages, um, in his tutorial, but I'm going to show you the breakdown of it all. Um, as I mentioned in the preview, I am using the uh, stack the deck binding method for this mini album, um, and that is by Laura at Following the Paper Trail. I love all of her stuff. Actually, I just downloaded the um, tutorial for the On a Roll um, mini deck, which is like a rolling suitcase mini album that I'm so excited for for our first vacation with the baby. So anyways, enough blabbering. So what I'm going to be working on is the pages and the binding in this video. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be breaking it up in a couple videos, so I thought I'd show that to you here. So I've already constructed um, just one page and I have a couple cut out, but I'm going to cut one out with you guys. I'm just using 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I like to use craft cardstock for the base. It's totally up to you as to what you want to use. Um, but I'll show you how I cut it and how I score it and assemble the pages. So with an 8.5 by 11 sheet, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it on the 8.5 side at 4.5. And then you're going to have two different size sheets of paper. Um, I messed up on cutting this one, but that's fine. So you're going to cut at four and a half, and then you're going to cut both of these down the center at five and a half inches. So what you'll have is two that are slightly larger, measuring at four and a half inches, and then you'll have two that are slightly smaller, measuring at four inches and they'll both be um, at five and a half in length. Okay. So from each page you can get two pages. Taking my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I'm going to go ahead and take the larger of the two pieces which is at the four and a half and what I'm doing is I'm going to score them at a quarter inch on each side. quite done yet. So I'll go ahead and do that with you guys. Um, for my mini brag book, I use uh, five sheets. You can make as many as you want. The only thing that's going to be affected is your binding um, would have to be adjusted. But because it's a mini brag book, I didn't want it to be too bulky in case um, my mother-in-law and mother wanted to have these in their bag so they could just pull it out and of course like grandmothers do brag about their grandchild especially being their first grandchild so just scoring or folding I should say along the score lines as I mentioned I have one sheet already constructed or one page already constructed so I'm working on four more Um, you can use red tape. I prefer score tape. I just think it's sturdier, so that's what I'm using for my project. You're going to take the pages that you just scored and folded over, and you're going to add adhesive to either end here. This is the quarter inch score tape, which is primarily what I use. I keep meaning to order the half inch. Um, but just don't ever get around to it. Okay, so I'll show you these two pages being put together. The other ones I'll do at a later time or I'll fast forward the video. They're all done exactly the same. So what I've done is I've taken the four and a half inch piece that I've mentioned, four and a half 
by five and a half. I've scored it at the four and a half length, a quarter inch on either side. Then you're taking your smaller piece that we just cut, which measures four inches by five and a half, and we're pretty much just gonna lay it right on top. We're gonna line this up here on this side. And then line it up on the other side. I like to use my bone folder just to make sure you get a really secure stick. Looks like a little bit of adhesive was over the edge, but I can go ahead and cut that off. So here's the basis for your page. I'll show you again one more time. Laying that four inch by five and a half on top. Lining it up as best as possible. And then over here on the side as well. So there's the basis of your page. Now I'm going to show you um, how to start the binding for your pages. So again, I'm just taking another... <laughs> My daughter just woke up from a nap. We decided she wanted to talk, so I apologize for the background noise. So the binding, um, this is how we are going to set it up. So all of the binding length is going to be at three and three quarters. So I'm just going to cut one long strip of three and three quarters. Okay. And then you're going to need one at two and a quarter, one at one and three quarters, and actually two at one and three quarters. So again, you're making one long cut at three and three quarters. Then you're making smaller pieces, two of them which are at one and three quarters of an inch, and one which is at two and one quarter of an inch. Okay. Then we're going to take our scoreboard again. Okay. The piece that it um, measures two and a quarter inches wide, we're going to go ahead and score it at half inch on either side. Okay. One of the pieces that measures one and three quarters, we're also scoring it at a half inch on either side. Now this last piece is a little different because we have five pages. Um, if we were using six pages, then we could go ahead and make it smaller to the other two pages and score on both sides. This one's going to be a little different and I'll show you in a minute. We're going to score at three eighths of an inch on either side. So I just start from the inside here just because it's easier to do three eighths of an inch here. Okay. And then three eighths of an inch again. So we have both sides at three eighths of an inch. And then what I do is I measure or I line up the two score lines on the inch marks because it measures exactly one inch in between and then just score it right down the middle, which is at a half. So let's see if I can make this a little bit simpler for you guys. So essentially we're scoring this piece, which is a one and three quarters by three and three quarters piece. We're scoring it at three eighths of an inch on either side. And then we're going to be scoring it at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so three eighths of an inch, seven eighths of an inch, and then you're going to turn it around and again three eighths of an inch. Okay? So these just get folded just like your pages do, folding at the score marks on the inside. This is your binding. Okay? These are essentially going to lay right in here, like so, and your pages will 
loop over here. For the center one, it's a little bit different, like I said, because we're using five pages instead of six. So, I fold the center one, the seventh, eighth score mark right down, and then you're going to make a fan effect. These are going to be folded up, these folded up, and what that's going to do is it, these two wing tabs are going to glue down, and this will be the binding for your center page. So it'll sit perfectly like so in here. Okay? So that's the start of how your pages need to be scored. Um, I won't get into the cover um, because that's with chipboard. I'll cover that a little bit later. So essentially that's the start of it. And I'll show you how to attach your pages onto the bindings. Okay, now what I'm going to show you guys is how to attach your pages to your binding. So what I like to do, first and foremost, is take your bindings. We're going to add adhesive right in the center of this. And I like to go pretty heavy on this adhesive, especially on the binding, because this is the piece that's going to be attached to your chipboard album. So you want to make sure you have plenty of adhesive on this so that your album doesn't fall off of the cover. Okay. Go ahead and flip this one over as well and add adhesive to here. Okay. This center piece is going to get a little bit different because it is a different piece. We're going to put adhesive both here on the bottom flaps and then once in the center to attach this so that the center piece is sticking up and then these two to attach to the center. Okay. Okay. So this center piece of score tape comes off. Fold this right in half and then you'll have these two wings as I mentioned. We're going to start with these two pieces. This adhesive you're going to leave on this larger piece because it's like I said it's going to attach to the chipboard cover. This piece we can go ahead and attach and what you're going to do is you're going to line it up in the center of these two. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So I'm just literally lining up. You're going to have some space on either side, and that's to allow for the pages to be able to flip. And then this piece right here is going to attach right here on the center. And it looks like mine are a little bit longer, so I'm just going to trim it off a hair on either side. Must have not been too precise when I was cutting, but no big deal. Okay, you just want to make sure it fits in there perfectly. Yep. So we'll go ahead and remove the backing to the score tape here. Okay, and again, just center it as best as possible. This should fit perfectly within your scored flap, so there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Again, I just take my bone folder just to reinforce that adhesive on both sides and all pages. Okay. So, here is your binding method. It'll hold five pages, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then this will attach to the cover. So to attach the pages, you can either decorate the pages and then attach them, which is what I did on the first one, or you can attach the pages and then decorate. Um, for video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and attach the pages and then decorate them. I like to use um, Quick Dry, Scotch Quick Dry, and that's because it gives me a little bit of room to move it around if it's not perfectly aligned the way I want it to. You could also use Tombow. Um, but those would be the two that I would stick with. I personally like the Scotch Quick Dry best, um, but that's just a personal preference of mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first tab here. Just apply adhesive on the inside. 
and also on the outside. Now, you don't want to apply too little because you want to make sure your page sticks. You don't want to apply too much because you don't want it oozing. Um, you can always clean up a little bit of oozing, but you don't want it to be too much so that um, it's all over. So what you're going to do is you're just going to open your page up a little bit and slide the page right into or onto the tab like so and center it as best as possible. I just hold it there for a minute and then I start working my fingers just to create a really good bond. So go ahead and attach that. Okay, and then you can go ahead and move on to the next page. So I'll do one more in slow motion with you guys and then I'll probably speed up the next two. Okay, same thing, just opening up your page and sliding it over the tab at the bottom, lining it up as best as possible. You want to make sure it's just about all the way down. You don't want too much off the tab. You want to make sure it's really on there. And again, just working it. Okay. So that is how you attach your pages. So I'm going to stop this video here. I'll go ahead and start a new video on showing you how I went ahead and cut out the tabs and um, size-wise for the inside um, tabs that go in here, etc., etc. So um, stay tuned for part two of the mini brag book album.